Hello there, John from Nowcast Support here. I'm about to walk you through how to upload videos into your Nowcast application. Um, before we begin to edit and design your mobile and television apps, we have to first begin to upload media assets into your Nowcast application. We're talking about images, audio files and videos but today we're going to focus particularly on how to upload videos inside my Nowcast application. To do that I want to head over to the left here and click on media assets. I'm going to then just click on videos and that brings me to my video upload page. I have two categories video and a video series tab. A video tab and a video series tab. We will focus on video series um, in the next video but right now we're just going to primarily focus on how to upload a single video inside my Nowcast application. There are three ways I can upload videos. Number one I can click add video. Number two I can drag a video inside my and drop it drag and drop it right here inside the square or I can just click on any area of this gray box here and that opens up my computer. I have a 15 second um, video here for our example. Just going to double click it and you can see an upward arrow with a circle that was right there. That lets you know that there is a video being uploaded. Because it's a small video, it uploaded pretty quickly. Again, the larger the video, the longer it takes to upload like YouTube, Facebook, anything else. Um, when you have your video has been uploaded, it will automatically be dropped down here to the vi recent video um, section here. You can see the video with a Nowcast thumbnail to default um, artwork, which you'll change later. You see the status is draft, meaning that it has not been published for um, your users on your mobile app or your television app to view. Tells you the date it was created on. And then you have an edit button here. You also have three little dots. These three little dots are good if you want to duplicate this video, change series, which again, we'll talk about the video series or categories in the next video. Add a folder, we'll talk about that also in a later video. Or we can delete this video. You accidentally uploaded the wrong video and you don't want it in your Nowcast application. You can just click delete. So at this point, you begin to edit the description and the artwork and to either publish or, or save this video, we're going to just click. And once I click it, it brings us to uh, the description page. Now that you have inputted all of your information for this video, your title, and I'm going to name this video A1 Video. It'll make more sense as we begin to build out video series in the coming um, in the coming next training videos. Um, subtitle, if you want to have a subtitle, a lecturer or a speaker, if you want to have that listed. We're just going to put today's date um, of the day that we've uploaded this video and then just type in a description to describe your video. First thing I want you to notice is that your audio file has been stripped from your, ripped from your video file. This is a great feature to have so um, when your um, users are watching your video, they have the option to switch to an audio only version of what it is that they're watching. So if they're jogging or they in their car and they want to just listen to what it is that you're speaking about, they can switch to the audio only version. Next thing I want you to notice is here you have a document section, a PDF document that you can upload to support your video. So that could be like sermon notes or Bible study notes or it could be for realtors who are who want to have more information on a house uh, that they can show um, uh, pictures and more information on the rooms of the house. It could be any supporting document that you want to upload right here. The TV logo I think is an amazing thing because just like Hulu, Netflix and Disney Plus, um, when you um, click on a video on one of those platforms you will see a logo that that is branded to that particular video you have the same option to do the same thing for every video that you upload you can brand you can have um, series or video individual videos that has a logo that's assigned to that particular video so the branding all matches you will upload that logo there and it will show up on your television um, television um, channel. A web link is just a link um, that you want to um, have attached. You don't have to have these but let's just say you have a contact us page that you want to go to your website or a particular website page that you want people to go to 
on their mobile phone when they're watching this video. So the next thing I want to bring to your attention are these four different options here um, in your description page. The first thing is, would you like for this video uh, to be played on the website and TV banner? If you select yes, um, when you go to your TV channel, again, this is your Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, Google TV, and Chromecast channel will look like this, but with your branding. Every one of these thumbnails represents a video just like Hulu or Netflix um, and you see the artwork or the picture or the thumbnail will show here so every time you select a different video that will change here right but if you select yes you would like for the video to be played in the TV banner if you leave the um, remote control pointing towards this t this particular um, video after three to five seconds, a video preview will begin to play. So this is a great feature to use if you want to, um, for, if you want your users to begin to see what the video will look like before they select that video. The next thing I want to bring to your attention is, do you want to enable giving? We suggest you select yes if you have a video that you, or if you're a nonprofit that you want people to be able to donate while watching. Um, in the, selecting yes would be the thing for you. Um, you have to have a Stripe account in order to enable this. If you click yes, it will ask you Stripe details. To enable giving, you need to add Stripe details first. So you have to um, have a Stripe account. If you don't have a Stripe account, it is a free account and it takes about five minutes to set up. You just go to stripe.com and click start now. And from this point, you'll just complete this process. It literally takes about five minutes to do this. Just click developers. As I stated, once you complete your Stripe um, account, your free Stripe account, it will give you a free Stripe key, uh, a public key, and a private key. All you have to do to bring in your Stripe account details into um, your Nowcast um, will simply be either click yes and continue, and it will bring you to your Stripe account sections. Here, just copy and paste um, the public key and the secret key, which both are on your homepage on your Stripe page. Real simple to do. Once you've copied and pasted your public and private key, just click save. And once you click save, just head back over to media assets, videos, and then you'll see the recent video that you're currently editing, editing, which is still in draft. Just click it. That brings you back to the description page that you've been working on. I scroll back down to the bottom here. Um, and so now we are here at um, notes. Um, notes is just a great way um, to have your users have the ability to take notes while watching your video. It's a great tool to have. You don't have to have that on there, but this is on the mobile app itself. Media downloads is the final thing. Um, media downloads, like Netflix, you could save certain videos that you like to watch. Um, so your users can do this on your mobile app. But again, to protect your content, they can download them only within the confines of their mobile app. So as long as they, the only way that they can watch or access your videos is within the mobile app. They can't download them and take them to YouTube or sell them or redistribute them themselves. They can only watch it within the confines of their mobile app. Final thing I want to bring you to is the appearance. Um, the appearance is very important um, because this is what um, artwork or images you're, that's going to represent um, this video, right? This is what will be shown on your uh, mobile app and your television app, okay? So you have three different um, designs. You have to use all three of them, right? Um, so simple box is a 1024 by 1024 pixel. Poster box is 1920 by 1080 pixels and landscape box is 1920 by 692. If you have a designer um, that can design these um, artwork for you, these are the dimensions that they will need to do that, right? Um, they will use something like Photoshop um, to create the artwork for you. If you don't have a designer, that's fine. We have a built-in cropper. As long as you have a high resolution pictures um, or pictures that, um, for instance, if you just had one 1920 by 1080 picture, this one big size picture will be cropped 
to a 1024 and it'll be cropped to a 1920 by 692 just so you just so you know you can go to a free online program called photop.com photop.com it is practically like identical to photoshop if you um if you don't have an artist to design for you um, this is real simple just click new project and from here you will be able to type in the the, the designs that you need remember i said the first one was 19 was 1024 by 1024 um, you just simply type the width at 1024 and the height at 1024 and just click create and that will create a square that you need and this is how you begin to design you may want to look up youtube for some how-to videos for photo P um, if you're familiar with Photoshop is very similar but this is a free way for you to create your own artwork but if you don't want to do this you can just use high resolution pictures um, to fit in these different squares so I'm going to begin to change these artworks from the default artwork to what you want it to be I'm just going to click here this opens up I'm going to click upload image and just go to where I am saving my images at and here are my images I am going to upload a one video image because that is for a one video double click it and as you can see it's automatically cropping it for me right you can make it bigger a smaller larger you can move it around but you can fit it to where um, fit it to how you want it to be just simply click apply and then let it crop and upload to your Nowcast application. Once it's uploaded, you just simply double click it and then there you go, you replaced it. Just repeat this process for the remaining, uh, remaining three um, appearances, excuse me, four appearances. Click A1 again. I'm just gonna drag it up to make sure that the guy is in there. Click apply, it's gonna crop it and then it's gonna upload it for me. Once it's uploaded, just double click it again and then I'm going to click um, the third one do the same thing double click it I'm just going to raise it up so everybody's in the picture click apply and then this will have completed the final um, three artworks and so as you can see all three are loaded please please make sure you click save once you've done this process all right it's real important if you upload all three artworks and click back or go somewhere else before you've saved it you will have lost, lost everything that you have done all the description headers and everything will be lost title will be lost so make sure that you make get in the habit of simply just clicking save every time all right now that the appearance has been done you have artwork for all three um, boxes now you want to decide is this free is this required if free means free for everybody require your account mean it's still free nobody has to exchange money but they have to give you their first last name cell phone number and email address so you now have you're collecting their data which is very important um, this is good when you're trying to build up your CRM data list um, and we go over your CRM or your contacts in another video um, and then of course if you may want this to require payment now remember as I said previously um, this is your own version of Netflix right so you can charge people to gain access to your content to this video right so and remember I'm specifically talking about just this video right a one video I want to charge I want to include a one video um, as part of one of my subscriptions I have a monthly plan and an annual plan the monthly plan is for um, $6.99 the annual plan is for $49.99 for the entire year if I want this video to require a subscription I just select both plans and click save and that means that in order for anyone to watch this video they have to be a subscriber a paid subscriber or a paying subscriber to access this video you may want to have a one-time purchase video like a pay-per-view you have an event um, you can have it both you can have both of them selected well, let's say you have an event like a box match and you want to charge $49.99 to access this video or you have a seminar that you recorded and you want to charge $49, $59, $69 to watch this video and teaching you'll just set that price here 
and that and then click save and then there you go this video is now um, for sale for $49.99 or whatever price point you set um, right now we're just going to click free for all so anybody can watch it and just click save final thing we want to go over is um, from this point you have your videos been uploaded the audio has been ripped from the video right that means that the audio and the video has been transcoded right now that it's been transcoded I can either publish it which makes it available right now to my users on my mobile app and my TV app or I can schedule it um, in order for it to um, be scheduled out to be published I'm just gonna click publish and that's it congratulations you just completed your very first video upload to your Nowcast um, um, application now before you watch the second video please go ahead and start uploading as many new videos as possible before we go into the next video which we'll discuss how to create um, video series but begin to upload more than one video before you watch the next video and thanks for watching i hope you learned something here at nowcast academy